Hello everyone. This is the practical session where we are going to talk about zoned date time class in Java. Basically, in Java 1.8, Oracle developers created a package called java.time, right? This package they have introduced a lot of new classes and interfaces, isn't it? And in one of that class is nothing but zone date and time. Basically, this is the final class in Java. in order to deal with date and time along with the time zones if i if your requirement is to deal with time zones then always think about zoned date and time so if i click on this zoned date time class in java it is nothing but a final class in java which implements temporal chrono zone date time interfaces and also serializable and actually it was introduced since java 1.8 so now let's get into here so i have written some of the methods already here and i want to run this program to go from the output to see how it actually works so first of all as we know that the entire world has been divided into multiple time zones right because every country the times are different right so whenever your server is running in uh, let's say singapore or in india or in us so that particular time zone this uh, separate one right like maybe you may be accessing that application from uh, india but the server may be running in us but the server time you always shows like whatever the local of uh, the server where it sits right so it is very very important to understand how the time zone works and how to deal with the time zone uh in our program where we can see let's say whenever you see any logs right so that always shows the server log shows the local time where the server sits so you have to always convert into your time and then you can identify what when the issue has happened and it will be really helpful to go for debugging any issues in the run time experience so as i said like the world has been divided into multiple time zones so in order to get all the list of available time zones in the world so we have to use this zone id so there is a um let me click on this one so there is a abstract class called zone id this is also introduced in 1.8 so all the zone ids has been uh, added here in this in this particular class right and then if you go here zone id dot get available zone ids this is basically giving the set of because this is giving the set of all the zones zone ids available if you guys see here this is output asia add in america cuba so these are all almost like i think 40 time zones we have in the entire world so this has been uh, this will give the list of or not the list actually set of all the time zones the reason why i said uh, why i call it as set means uh, there won't be any duplicates right if i say list it means there is a duplicate possible but that is the reason they introduced this particular uh, method which returns set of the zone ids so also you let's say i am in us central right and if i want to get the zone zone id of this one then what i can do here is zone id dot off right if i give this value then i can get the actual zone of that particular um if i give the text i can give the actual zone id object of that one and also if i want to uh, deal with a local time zone then what i can do here is first thing is local date time right so in the previous video we have watched about local date time how it works so what i am trying to do here is local date time l is equal to local date time dot now which means the current date and time of my uh, place where i am sits right now what i can do here is there is a class called zone date time right this is what we have seen here right zone date time class which is a final class right so there is off method basically in this you can pass the local date time and also zone id which zone id you want to put it so if you guys see here like the zone date time is giving the current date which is like 2022 january 17 and time is 1841 and also with the time zone so in most of the cases in the server logs you will be seeing like this with all either with the uh time zone or you will be seeing with some you know um minus 6 or minus 2 like that there is like nothing but like each gmt plus minus uh kind of values you will uh, google it for get the list of all the time zones and how it is related to gmt you will get more idea about it and second thing is uh, as i said like minus 6 minus 8 right? there is nothing but like offset they call it as my offset so gmt um plus and minus offsets are based on each time zones they have divided and if you guys see here like zone offset basically if you want to change the zone offset like this is also another uh, final class in java which was introduced in since 1.8 which is same as like you know zone date and time but what we are doing here is here you can say you know plus 200 which is like you are passing a text and with the help of off method it is actually converting into the zone offset object and that object of um, zone offset object you are passing it to offset date and time so that you will be you know changing that offset right if you want to change that offset you can pass it so here what i'm doing here is zone offset date time dot off l is nothing but my current local date and time 
and then offset I'm setting. So on my local date and time, I'm setting my offset as plus two. So by default, it was minus six. And right now I'm setting it to plus, plus zero two. So this is the way that you can actually change the offset or you can get the offset, right? So I hope you guys have understood this, you know, uh, concept very clearly. I would strongly recommend you guys to write the same program in your Eclipse and see if you guys can uh, have any other questions, then let me know. You can post in the comments. I will be happy to assist you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.